Hey guys. Hey. Sorry about my voice. I'm kind of sick. That's why I haven't put out a video lately. But today I figured out how to run a uh, um three running slicing um, printer control software. I have printer face and uh, uh printer face and Skyne Forge as a slicer. Now I'm in Pennsylvania, so I can't. Do the three D printer and a I'm very sick, so I wanted to get a video out. But I'll be doing a better video on this and I'm gonna show you how you one get uh uh Linux to run in uh Chrome OS. So right now we're gonna go full screen. And I am in Kali Linux with the KDE desktop environment. Now, there's a command for each type of Linux operating system supported on Chromebook. That should only really matter if you're using an ARM Chromebook. Any 86x, 64x, 32x Chromebook will uh, have a different set of operating systems available. I'm going to get you to Kali install command. <clears throat> Once again, guys, I'm really sorry about my voice. I, uh... Oof, my god, I can't really talk. I've been sick for the past almost a week. Now, here's the command you'll need. You'll also need to uh, download something called Crouton. Which is a universal CH root environment. Now, where it says Kali and KDE, you can change that from Kali to uh, to an Unbunt and Debian. Then KDE can be replaced with GNOME, X Windows, whatever uh, desktop environment you want. You and the second Kali will be your CH root command. So for mine, I type sudo start kde, and uh, I might uh, probably forget the link. This is in the description, but link is right here. I'm not putting a lot of work into this video, so I'm gonna minimize this. And once you're in here, you have to uh, there's an apt get commands for proner face and other stuff. Now uh, you can just look up the printer face. Oh. I'm just gonna do this. Kilman print run run on GitHub. You download this, you unpack it, then there's some apt get commands. Hopefully I will uh be able to link these into the description. But you will need to keep a terminal open, you will need developer. To get developer, you do uh, shift all. No, it was like shift all. One of the F keys, then you tap power. You don't have an F key, and you just have little pictures on those keys. I believe it was a full screen. Then you tap the power button. Now, that will get you developer. It will wipe all your data. So, I'm not really going to do much on that. I'm sorry about my last video not having any audio. I don't know what happened with snag it. My uh, old screen recorder didn't work, so I had to get this one, which is going to put a watermark if I go over 10 minutes, I believe. But, uh, yeah. Then, uh, for Skyneforge, you just type apt git install Skyneforge. Well, sudo apt minus git install. And packet managers, you know, Windows 10 is coming with a very own package manager like apt-get. It's going to be native to Windows, and you don't have to use things like Cocoa, I believe it was. Just something like Cocoa for Windows, it's like apt-get. I don't remember that exactly, I'm just really excited about this. 
but hopefully I'll be able to get my printer calibrated and stuff. I haven't been able to do a lot with it lately. So uh, thank you guys for watching and see you next time.